Hi, I'm Jean McEwen and I'm delighted to be joining you at this online collage colloquium today um, with the Centre for Fine Print Research in association with the London Centre for Book Arts and to be able to share some of my work with you. I'm based in Bradford um, and I'm a visual artist and a creative facilitator. Um, I make images and I work with people and I kind of think of everything I do as collage. So collage is my way of trying to make sense of the world. Um, um, and it really interests me. It's, it's, it's a way of making and remaking meaning through um, working with images, cutting them out and combining them to arrive at something else. Um, and so I think of it as this really great means to play um, and also to have agency in the world because nothing is fixed or permanent and through collage you can cut things up, you can mix it up, you can move them around and you can kind of create something new. Um, so for me whether that's on the page or working in a space or working with a community it just seems ripe for um, remaking things. And there's a quote from um, one of my favourite writers, Rebecca Solnit, um, from her book, The Far Away Nearby, which I often think of um, when I'm making collage or thinking about it. Um, and she says, we never tell the story whole because a life isn't a story. It's a whole milky way of events and we are forever picking out constellations from it to fit who and where we are. So this process of cutting out and arranging, rearranging different elements serves for me as a means to be able to create and to recreate meaning, whatever is needed for that moment. So in terms of how I make my collages, um, I'm a really messy artist and I have boxes and boxes of all kinds of materials, papers, um, books, magazines, fabric patterns, old maps and other kinds of ephemera that are that are all jumbled up in boxes. I've got tons of them in the studio. It's a complete mess. Um, and that kind of chaos um, actually um, is really productive and exciting because you get all kinds of accidental juxtapositions and collisions and accidents happening between different visual elements that can make um, it's something really interesting. And these elements of um, chance and juxtaposition and openness um, often translate into how I like to work with people, um, especially in public spaces um, and long-term projects. So these are some images from um, a space, a project I run um, called War Bradford. War means our and we are. War Bradford is a grassroots arts project which um, for a long time had a base in um, an indoor market stall in Bradford um, and it was a very responsive project in which people could come and explore materials, build relationships and initiate projects. Um, someone once described War Bradford to me like it was like a giant zine um, and so I, I kind of think of it as a very shape-shifty um, project in a space and the idea of provisional things moving around and being unfixed and being able to change is a very positive thing um, and it's like a kind of social collage in which people can um, participate in together. And I often use collage when I'm working with people um, because it's a really accessible way of exploring and expressing meaning, whether people want to um, just play with materials or tell a story or communicate a particular message. And often this kind of collage work that I do with people um, are presented in zines. So zines are um, DIY magazines and they are very democratic means to get something out there into the world um, unmediated without permission and saying it and expressing it um, in your own terms. 
zines can be a really powerful way to um, raise awareness or communicate a message or to challenge injustice. So these are some collages from some zine making sessions I facilitated at some seminars that were exploring the past, present and future of the welfare state called Welfare Imaginaries um, and people made collages um, in response to the seminars and they were collected and put into this um, e-zine. So returning to my solo um, collage making practice, um, I use collage really as a way of processing what's going on in my life and in the world um, and the collisions of things that can happen on the table can have quite a variety of different kinds of tones or feelings or communicate in different ways. So sometimes the the collages come out as quite playful or surreal or mischievous or funny. So these collages are um, made from book and magazine pages that I found and um, made alterations to. And a number of years ago a friend gave me a stack of old vintage postcards um, and for ages I didn't know what to do with them and then one day there was a an accidental collision in one of my collage boxes and um, I just found this really lovely way to play with altering the postcards. So I now make altered postcards as a, as a regular thing um, and make series of them. So here are a few examples of my altered postcards. And again, these range from quite playful, um, fun interventions where there's quite a big sense of mischief. And sometimes they're more disturbing or despairing um, or even angry and seem to reflect or speak to a situation that's going on. Um, and although I don't often start out to make a collage with a particular social or political message, um, when they do have that resonance, I'm glad that they do. So this altered postcard was made in 2019 um, and as usual, it was an accidental collision of cutout image and postcard, um, but seemed to speak very much to the time. Um, it was when um, Boris Johnson and the government were trying to shut down Parliament um, to get legislation about Brexit through. Um, so it just seemed to really speak to that moment. So I got a bunch printed um, out as postcards and put a message on the back with a link to a petition to ask people to sign which, to stop the prorogation of Parliament. Um, so that was an example of, I guess, one of my collages being put to use in the world. And finally, I wanted to talk about my collage work in publication. Um, I often make zines of my collage works, um, but earlier this year I worked with Gordian Projects, who are a small independent press based in Yorkshire, um, to produce um, a book of my collages called Collisions. So Gordian work with their artists and authors collaboratively in planning, designing and producing the books that they make. So Collisions is a 52-page saddle-stitched book um, presenting a selection of my collage work um, which is interspersed with a conversation between myself, Brian Lewis of Long Barrow Press and Tom Rogers, um, co-editor at Gordian Projects. And the process of making the book with Tom, Brian and co-editor Emma Bolland was an incredibly rich one. Um, I saw the collaboration with Gordian as an opportunity to look at the work as a whole, to work with some different eyes and people who have a different aesthetic, um, who know about layout and text and how books work. And I really wanted that sense of exchange. And I remember the first meeting I had with Tom and Emma. Um, I brought 
along a, a, some work and put it on the table and Emma started moving it around and mixing up the groups and sequencing um, and I guess I'd kind of thought myself of a particular set of sequences or a series of images but after a few minutes of watching Emma I realised that there was an opportunity to let the others take the work and choose it and so I handed over the work for them to photograph it and to decide on a sequence and that brought up some surprises um, but really made me see the work anew um, so it was an incredibly valuable process to work with Gordian on this. So the most important thing about this project was the quality of care and attention um, that was brought to my work from um, the team at Gordian and just the sense of doing something collectively um, and the opportunity to have creative dialogue about the work so I'm, I'm just completely delighted with the book um, and we had a launch for it earlier this year before um, lockdown happened and it's still available to buy on Gordian website. So thank you for watching, um, I hope you enjoy the day and I look forward to chatting with you in real time as part of the event.